Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Lorenzo and in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create a business brochure that looks like this one here. Now this is the third and final installment in our business flyer design series and if you haven't watched the first and second tutorials, I strongly encourage you to do that first because in this particular tutorial, I'm going to be moving a whole lot faster and there are concepts I might not actually explain in detail but if you're watching this one and at any point in time you feel as if you've been you're lagging behind or there's a concept you didn't really grasp or understand or how to create a particular shape or design you can always pause and rewind and repeat that entire section so getting started i've already opened up gimp and i've already opened up my canvas with a default a4 template and i've added these two guides here and if you don't know how to add those you can always go to image guides new guide by percentage I use vertical guides 33.33% and 66.66% which are these two here. Now the next step would be is to go to the layers tab, create a new layer, you can rename it there or rename it here. I'm going to rename it to BG number 2 and that will be blue. Press enter. We're going to use this shade of blue here so let's select the color picker click there go back to that layer select the bucket tool and fill that in now we need to have these two images in the background so we're going to go back to that layer select the first image you're going to use which is this one here click and drag bring that between the two background layers Move visibility on that one and then let's scale that and bring back the visibility there now we're going to reduce the transparency on the blue layer click and drag a guide zoom in a bit and then select the paths tool now with the blue layer still selected because we need to make an opening on that layer let's add our path command or control and click at the beginning to close that zoom in a little more and then adjust that here All right zoom out a bit press enter and then delete on the keyboard and then when you adjust the transparency on the top layer you can already see that the opening has been made and while the selection is still well selected you can go ahead and okay first of all let's create a new layer select ok and we'll call this image um, stroke Right, so with that image stroke layer still selected, right click on the path, edit, stroke path. Uh, I'll stroke with the line with the line width of 15, that's fine. Click stroke. Oops, let's undo that. Let's make sure we have white at the top here. Right. Right click, edit, stroke, the path. And then we deselect everything. Go back to the BG2 layer and then we have created this stroke or outline around the image. Now the next step is to add the second image. Again we need to have that in between the background layers. And then we reduce the visibility on the top layer like that. In fact let's just remove that from there. And now let's position the image. You can go ahead and scale it if you want to, if need be. Bring back the visibility. Select the paths tool and repeat the steps we followed on the first image. Press enter once you're happy with that. Make sure the BG2 layer is selected. Press delete on the keyboard. Go to image stroke layer. Right click, edit, stroke path. And we're going to go ahead and fill it in. We're going to stroke it with 15 like we did on the first image. Now with that selection still there, you go back to that image right there, the, build, the image of the buildings. Right click, select, invert. And then press delete on the keyboard. Deselect everything. Remove the paths. And then we go back to the top layer and increase the visibility. And there we have it. And then now we just need to remove makes this blue part here right where the this curve is so you select the rectangle tool and then press delete on the keyboard 
control shift a or command shift a now the next step is to create this gradient these gradient shapes here so to do that you can create a completely different shape or you can follow these steps go to the paths tab right at the end there click on that and then click on the visibility for the top path which is the path we've just created select the paths tool and click on that line there go back to your layers and create a new layer let's rename that gradient shape press enter and once that's done you can go ahead and press enter to make our selection and then we're going to go ahead and select the colors we need to use for the gradient and then right click select the gradient tool and then we create our gradient on that layer Control shift a command shift a to deselect go back to the path tab remove visibility now we can actually move this around and make sure we position it exactly where we want it that should be fine you can still again play around with the visibility on that layer that's still okay that's still up to you now we need to create the gradient layer for this for this one here so you can always go ahead and use that same layer or you can use repeat the steps i've just showed you which is bring back the visibility create a new layer You can actually just leave it there and reduce the transparency. Let me just go to image and rather view, show layer boundary and remove that there. Now we're going to add another of those, uh, we're going to add two more of those shape layers here and here. So if you want, you can always create a new layer and create a new gradient shape, or you can just right click and select that layer and duplicate it rather. So after duplicating this, we can actually move it here. Select, select the rotate tool. Let's increase the visibility on that layer. Never at 100%. And then lastly, we duplicate that layer again and bring it here. Now in this case, we need this layer to be at the bottom of that blue layer, so we drag it right down there at the bottom, like that. Now let's go to the top layer, create a new layer, select OK. And this will be the gradient bar, so we name that gradient bar, press enter. So the gradient bar is this one here, and this one here. So we're going to create the gradient bar, select the rectangle tool, click and drag, and then select the gradient tool, and then deselect everything, and then let's now move that and posi position it. Select the rotate tool. Just want to just make sure that okay and now we're going to trim the excess bits which is this one this part here select that press delete on the keyboard and then we're going to make a slight small opening right about there Select that, press delete on the, on the keyboard. Control Shift A, Command Shift A. All right, now we need this small piece, piece to be here uh, along this image diagonal part there. So we're gonna again right click, duplicate the layer, click and drag. Now first we're going to remove this little part there, you can always select the eraser or you can just cut it out, delete, and then we re rotate it.
right around there. Now we're almost done with our design. Really what's left is to add the logo, the vectors and the text and I will not spend much time on these parts here. So, but again, I'm just going to quickly show you how it's done. We'll go back to that layer. I'm going to select our logo. So for the entire series, I've been using this logo I created called Creative Guru. Just going to click and drag that there. Now you'll notice that the logo itself has that green and blue as the green and blue colors we're using on the gradient shape at the back there. So the text really doesn't pop up. It's not clear. So you can to go around that, select the gradient, rather select the rectangle tool and make a selection over the text like that. Go to colors, desaturation and desaturate. Click OK. Go back to colors. Let's go to levels. First of all, I want to make sure they're completely black. So click and drag. Like that. Then go back to colors and invert. Of course, there's a different way of doing this, but I just prefer that one. And then control shift A, command shift A. And then we have it. Creative Guru now pops up. And then now the rest is just basic click and drag, dragging the icons, dragging the vectors, and basically making sure that we have this layout and outline we want. So I'm going to quickly go through this and yeah, show you how to create this overall design. So basically that's how you add the text to the brochure. So these three uh, divisions we created are actually places where the page or the sheet is going to be folded. So depending on how you're going to fold it, this might be the back, that might be the front, and that might be the inner part, or it depends whether it's a trifold or z-fold brochure, depending on how you want to fold it, well basically that's how it's going to look like. Now I will not spend much time adding these, this other information because we've already done that in the other tutorials. What I really wanted to show you here is how to create a design that looks like here and also how to grasp the techniques, the different techniques you can actually use to create your business brochure or your business flyer, which are basically the same uh, if you really look at it or if you really think about it. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful or useful, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching.